Tyler. There's a yeah. fire in my pants. Probably clap. Oh yeah, you can get your dildos and your pizza right there beside each other. Seems like a win-win. You have the uh, lens cap on? Oh, you had it in photo mode, not video mode. Oh! Well, hell. Hell's bells. How are you supposed to do a video when it's in picture mode? Pinky out. Let's roll. Let's roll. Roll, roll, roll. Ow, fuck. But first, some members only coffee. Are you a member? Sign up for the drawing board. Affiliate code. We don't have one. Everybody over here sucks. He lives way out in East Texas. Yes, sir. You do it. Everybody look. Isn't that a pitch perfect thing? Anyway, y'all, I was trying to tell you what it was, but y'all kept interrupting. I figured out what was wrong with the thingy yesterday. You gotta put the sun visors down to hold it up. Makes life, you don't trip. What did I miss? Because, you know, taking that down is really good content, really good B roll. Just ask any filmmaker ever. It's a good story element. One, have a two, have a three, have a four. Officer Rand helped us, but we've had a problem with homeless folks over at our uh, old vet clinic in uh, Altham City. Very personal. Yeah, I'm here now. Like they, they had asked us to keep them updated when we were having issues. Like I, I haven't approached this dude yet, but he ain't got shoes on, and he's a uh, no. It's just one guy. He's just sleeping on, right in front of the front door. I guess he disappeared. Nope, he's still there. Oh, there he is. Cops asked us, problematic for the area, mm -hmm. to keep them informed. So like I was out here, there was a couple out there, homeless couple in their car, and the first thing that falls out of the car was a pistol when he opens the door. Now it ended up being a, like, a, like a fake one. It was like an airsoft gun, yeah, but still... all the cops immediately just guns drawn. It was, uh, it was pretty whack. I've got a video of it somewhere. Um, we're gonna get this thing rendered. I've got somebody doing color palettes right now. When you render it, what are you gonna do? Just well, I need to draw him so I can get stuff redrawn from what we're going to do. Anybody that walks in to this place to order, if they need to use a restroom, they're going to have to use the one in this lobby. In case you just put says no private, no, no public restrooms? I don't know. I don't know about that, but it, it still should cover us there. Um, I, like I said, I've got to meet with the, this, the city about some of this. This room will have to go. This is going to, we're going to blow this out. The rooms that were there before, they're not, they're not really big enough for offices. You'd be surprised. This right now, even in my hometown of Cleveland, will go for north of 600 a month. So, and that's what we're going back into here. A lot of this is going to get lost to that little, to that little restaurant, but we also don't need a lot of space for the restaurant. restaurant. We're talking about putting a tea place in here too. Oh, on this side. I'm oh, sorry, I thought oh, you understood. Yeah, that. I didn't know that. No. So like, I just thought it was a coworking spot. This little section here is just going to get wiped out and become a tea. That makes way more sense when you say the uh, the reception area is just going to have a no sit down. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could shut that off. I'm sorry, I can't shut this dumb thing off. Adopt me. Yeah, 600 definitely. This one right here, to me, this is a $400 a month office, this small one here. Just give somebody that has a little smaller place, and, and maybe that'll be, maybe that's our, our key station. I don't know. All of that can go in here. This will be repurposed. I'm pretty sure from there forward it's going to get lost to the to the T yeah. at, at some point. So that, I mean, that's a whole other thought. But I, I really need the plans to look at it from the top so we can oh, look at square oh, footage. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So again, that's why I had to get these get these drawings done today so we could uh, render this and, and look at the top level and see what happens, see where we can take stuff out. But even this out here, I think is a great area. Oh yeah. Um, you know, for for the co-working space itself, you have a little patio that's shaded almost all day. You, you know, you have your little uh, picnic tables out there. Is that the dude still out there? If we have a chair, you probably... Oh, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that in. I mean, he didn't, he didn't even move when we were out there. I do want to go back and make sure you don't want to get back. Because this is what he always end up. We're out back. <laughs> See, here's all their stuff. They're always holding stuff back here. We gotta take it out. Yeah. Oh, good. That's it. How this work? We can't. We can't all be normies like you. 
Right, Tommy? Right. I guess they would run the, the dogs up here. Yeah, it's weird. Weird layout, dude. Like, I would think this would be downstairs. Yeah, you would think so, right? And, and all this epoxy coating on the floor is amazing. I don't even know what it is. Like, it's like a hard rubber. Doesn't matter. The floor's a flat. You can't go walk down right here. This is the Sophie Stellar room. I don't know what that is, but that's what it is. Like, in a lot of ways, these could be your co working vehicles. Just, you can get rid of this. <laughs> It's a weird space, man. Well, in comparison to everything else. This is Jason Witherspoon. I called Dispatch. I've had your number. I'm the guy that owns this vet clinic over here in Altham City, and we got a dude out here hanging out, being weird. Sorry. Yeah, that's too funny. Now, like, we, there was a dude out here with no shoes on, and uh, like another police officer showed up and he took off. But I was just alerting y'all, like y'all asked me to, because of previous stuff. We're trying to get this building turned over. I got to go meet with the city and talk to them. So we're trying to trying to get it active again. It looks like Haltom City's waking back up. I mean, who knows? We got a lot of plans for this place. We will make this turn, turn money because it's a gold mine. When you look at where it's sitting, all of the things around it, the Starbies, the two grocery stores, the three banks, the three pharmacies, or two pharmacies, you know, who knows? Somebody may want to buy it. Cash. Hey, what, what kind of flowers do you have or arrangements do you have for uh, uh, like my mother's birthday? Yeah, that'll work. I'm about 15 minutes out. I'll, uh, I'll swing by and, and take a look at what you got. Thank you. I'll do the, the 55 or does that come with the vase and everything? Yes, sir. Easy enough. Yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't be able to fit in there. I would knock everything down. Yeah, we normally don't have a booby trap right there. Yeah. <sighs> it's just a cat, bro. It's just a cat. Pass. No thanks. Seatbelt, you know, because safety first. I'm gonna be driving with one hand, one hand on the flowers, one hand on the steering wheel, both eyes not on the road. Safety. Always look at the camera. Sweet 811. She has no idea I'm coming. She definitely has no idea there's a camera. Yes, it could be. It could be. Oh. Is it your birthday? Not yet. My birthday is in July. Are you my mother? No. Well, they're not. It's for your mother. Yeah. We should go to every floor and be like, hey, come sing happy birthday to my mother. Yeah. That would be. That's lovely. Ooh. What's right here? You have one play. It's lovely. Thank you. Karen, Karen AG handles hidden. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Happy birthday. Why, thank you. You're welcome. You're beautiful. You better be. I'll just hold this right in front of my face. What? You can edit that part out. Happy birthday to you. Ugh, don't show that. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> She's disgusting. my grandmother. Yeah, but it shows me I'm disgusting. I'm more disgusting than I am now. Do you approve? They're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Your neighbor's yard. And, and shimmed it. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Are you going through uh, Ethan's pictures? Yeah, I'm fixing them. Oh. Working hard. No? Well, they're not for you. <laughs> Was she cute? Uh, sure. <laughs> She's probably in the vlog. And birds running into my... <laughs> Because it was, a, I mean, if you, you could have hit a deer, it could have been worse. Well, if you would have saw, I mean, if you saw the spot, I mean, the bird was that big with wingspans the size of the whole car. Did it live? I, I, I guarantee it did not. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I could easily push my hand out if I wanted to, mm. you know. <laughs> did you see it, Dad? Thank you. Thanks. Very nice surprise. Oh, good. Love you. Love you, too. Love you, sir. Good to see you. Yes. 1.3 million. Like, if you were new to town, like just getting flowers and just walking into a, a building, random people, women are like, oh my God, flowers. And they just go, here you go. I'm Ryan. Let's do business. Or call me. Hundreds of employees. One from a storyboard artist perfectly captured the feeling expressed by many. 